So you want to sell your home, but you keep hearing about buyer contingencies. What are they? Hello everybody, I'm Brian Collins, team leader for the Collins Family Realty Group at Keller Williams. Thank you for joining me. This is my seller series video number two. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos all about selling your home. If you click the bell, you'll even get notified when I post the next video. So one of the main points of any residential purchase agreement, besides how much the buyer is willing to pay for a home, is the contingency periods. Buyers have multiple contingencies to fall back on, but these contingencies have a shelf life. And that shelf life can be three, 17, 21, or more, or even less days. These times are all laid out in the residential purchase agreement. One of the main examples is the buyer having 17 days to complete all of their inspections and remove their physical inspection contingency. Keep in mind that all of these days that we talked about are negotiable and for ease of explanation, we're only gonna talk about the default number of days in the contract. So if you're wondering, when do these time periods that are so specific to my sales start? You're not alone. You can watch the in-depth look at contract timeframes in this video here when we are done. The long and short of it is on the last day that the last signature is signed is day zero. So the following day is day one. So if an offer is signed on Friday by the buyer and then sent over to the seller and the seller signs and accepts that offer on Monday and then the buyer is delivered the returned contract signed on Monday, then Monday is day zero and Tuesday is day one of all the timelines of the contract. Some timelines count days different than others, and the contract timeline video up here has all that information, but I will make note here what types of the days are in effect when, we're, when they're required. So we have a number of contingencies that a buyer has when purchasing your home. First and foremost, the buyer has three business days from acceptance to place their earnest money deposit, that's the EMD, with escrow. And here's one of those types of days that we talked about. A business day is Monday through Friday, except for holidays. So the buyer has three business days to deposit their earnest money deposit EMD with escrow. If the buyer fails to do so, then your agent, me, uh, can issue a notice to buyer to perform. This will force the buyer to either make their deposit or allow you, the seller, to cancel the contract. And I'll have an in-depth video that covers how a seller can legally cancel the purchase agreement up here or soon. The next contingency that a buyer has actually has more to do with you as the seller. Um, you as a seller are contractually obligated to disclose everything you know about your property to the buyer within seven days of acceptance. So seven calendar days, not uh, business days. You'll typically use a form like the transfer disclosure statement, the seller property questionnaire, natural hazard disclosure report, lead-based paint disclosure, if your home was built before 1978, and there's probably about 15 other disclosures that may pertain to you and your listing. So your listing agent will advise you on which forms your home will require. And as mentioned before, the buyer has a physical inspection contingency. This is a period of 17 days that the buyer has to access your property to conduct a home inspection. This could also be, this could also include roof inspection, soil testing, septic certification, pest inspection, lender appraiser, water testing, and probably about a hundred other tests and inspections that I can't even think of right now. But the buyer at the end of their inspection period should be happy with what they've uncovered and ready to move forward. If they aren't, then the buyer will work with their agent to submit to your agent a list of repairs the buyer wants done. More on that in a second. Uh, but one of the most common reasons for cancellation of contract is the buyer surprise. This is when the seller's disclosures or the buyer investigation reports uncover something that makes the buyer change their mind. A leaky roof is a big deal. And if that's revealed during a home inspection, then the buyer has the right to cancel. This is called a material fact. This is a piece of information that can affect the desirability of or the value of the property to the buyer. And usually the buyer will ask for a repair of the defective items on a form called the buyer request for repairs. And then you as the seller will have the opportunity to respond to that request in many different ways. You can agree to some, agree to all of the repairs. You can credit the buyer for some or for all of the repairs, or you can flat out refuse. And again, there'll be a video later about repairs up here. If the repairs can't be negotiated to the satisfaction of both parties, then usually the buyer can cancel the contract without any sort of repercussions, such as you keeping the buyer's earnest money deposit. That's what those contingencies are for. So the final contingency we'll talk about here, and there can be a lot more, um, is the loan contingency. So the buyer typically has 21 days to receive a final loan approval from their lender. And this is the window that the buyer and the lender have to work together to complete all of the lender requirements for the loan. 
This can include lender vi verifying buyer's employment, um, income, buyer submitting tax returns, a bank statement, or buyer paying off debt to improve their cash flow. And this will help with their debt to income ratios. So what I'm saying is this last step can be super complicated. And your listing agent should be working with the lender and the buyer's agent to stay on top of all of those situations throughout the entire 21 days. If there are any problems that may delay the 21 day contingency, you wanna know about them early and not let it be a surprise. In real estate, nobody likes surprises. So now in a perfect world when selling your home, these dates will come with the buyer removing their contingencies exactly on the date of expiration. But alas, we don't live in a perfect world and buyers love to keep their backdoor exits. Every one of these is a way for a buyer to cancel the contract without repercussion. And so as a listing agent and as a seller, we want these to be removed as soon as possible. So it's my job as your listing agent to stay on top of the buyer side to get these exits out of play as soon as we can. Contingencies can be extended in writing uh, using an extension of time addendum. These are quite common and escrow, sometimes escrow closing dates need to be pushed. Uh, buyers need an extra three days to complete their inspections due to a four day holiday weekend. Contractors don't like working on holiday weekends. So extensions are not the end of the world and being flexible can make the sale of your home go much smoother in most cases. Your agent will advise you on the next steps if you're having issues and sometimes patience is just what the doctor ordered for peace of mind and a closed escrow. I hope my video was useful to you on your home ownership journey. And if it was, like it and share with the friend or family member you know who is thinking of selling their home. I'm available for personal consultations. If you want to schedule a Zoom call with me, you can email me at briancollins at kw.com. To browse current listings or to get a free instant home valuation, visit www.collinsfamilyrealtygroup slash sell. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.